Today I'm going to talk about skill cooldown or skill CD in this game. Please follow my channel and send a thousand times of happiness to your loved ones. Hello everyone, I'm NDL. So what is skill cooldown? It's quite simple. When you activate a skill, it enters a cooldown phase. Once this cooldown phase is complete, you can use that skill again. Here, it's displayed like this. For example, if the NASA skill takes 10 seconds to cool down, what factors influence this cooldown time? And can we reduce this 10 second cooldown? Alright, in the game, there's a formula. Here's the cooldown formula in the game. It's the cooldown of the skill divided by 1 plus the total cooldown time of the character, divided by 100, multiplied by the efficiency of the weapon's cooldown speed. What's the character's cooldown time? It's here. This is the character's skill cooldown. How do we obtain this number? Firstly, it's from weapons, rings, and necklaces. Remember, only these three types of items provide skill cooldown. Other item types, like shoes, armor, and helmets, may have a few special items that provide skill cooldown, but the main ones are weapons, necklaces, and rings. And these two fate bounds also help increase the skill CD for the character. Now, we have some skill cooldown stats here. These are located here. They're in these corners. This is the character's skill cooldown. You'll notice a line that says, multiplied by the efficiency of the weapon's cooldown speed. This cooldown speed efficiency is a hidden stat in the game discovered by players. I'm just sharing it with you. I didn't discover it myself. I'm not skilled enough to discover it. I'm just sharing it with you. This cooldown speed efficiency is divided into groups as follows. Dual swords are 75%, dual guns are 87.5%, bows, swords, and shields, gloves, and spears are 100%, axes and bows are 112.5%, and great swords are 125%. The red weapons have different skill CDs. So, if we follow this formula, for example, if the NASA skill has a 10 second cooldown and we set the character's cooldown time to 210%, then when the character uses different weapons, the cooldown time will vary. For example, if we use a great sword, the cooldown will be 4 seconds. But if we use a dual swords, then the recovery time will be only 2.8 seconds. So, in summary, the lower this efficiency stat, the faster the cooldown. So, this shadow sword has the longest cooldown, right? Now, if we have a hypothesis, will its cooldown ever reach zero? That is, will the cooldown of this NASA skill ever reach zero? That is, keep pressing it, keep playing, keep pressing it, right? No, it won't. For example, if I increase this number to 500 and then the skill cooldown time will be 1.25 seconds. Then there's a problem that arises. Why don't people just use dual swords to cool down faster? Why don't they? Well, let me tell you one more thing. That's the efficiency of the weapon's cooldown speed. That is, the faster the cooldown, the lower the damage. That is, which weapon helps you cool down faster, that weapon's damage is lower and vice versa, the higher the damage, the longer the cooldown. Therefore, many players will use weapons with high cooldown rates as secondary weapons and this is a quite smart way of playing, you can also apply. So, those are the things I've shared about skill cooldown in this game. I hope this video will help you optimize your character as well as how you choose your weapons, rather than just choosing any weapon or sometimes, oh, this weapon has high damage, why not use it, or something like that. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching my video. See you again in the next videos.